The Omicron variant. Are we in big trouble? Are we fine? Do we even know? That's the topic of this week's healthcare triage. Before we begin, please note that this video was shot on December 14th, 2021. The data on COVID-19 evolved rapidly, and that's especially true when we first discovered things like this new variant. It's entirely possible that our understanding of the situation will change within even a short period of time, and we'll do our best to release updated videos when necessary. Omicron, like Delta, is currently considered a variant of concern by the World Health Organization. It's been identified in 63 countries so far and has some mutations that could be a problem. This is because we are much more likely to catch and get ill from a variant of the virus that our immune system is unable to recognize and fight. That also means the transmission of this variant could increase. The pile of data we have for Omicron is still fairly small right now, so it's hard to draw any big conclusions. What we do know is that it seems to be spreading faster and causing more reinfections than Delta, the other variant of concern at this time. From what we can tell at this early stage, it does seem less severe than Delta. So far, cases caused by Omicron seem to be mild, but not enough time has passed and we don't have enough data to know for sure. In terms of vaccine efficacy, a recent report from the UK suggests that efficacy against Omicron was decreased in vaccinated individuals. However, it increased after a booster dose, so that's good news and means boosters may be a better idea for everyone than we previously thought. We should note, though, that because Omicron is so new, the number of cases involved in the report was fairly low. So far, it looks like our current tests, both PCR and rapid tests, can detect Omicron. The World Health Organization does suggest confirming with sequencing, since there are changes in the Omicron sequence that may cause a false negative in certain cases. Most treatments should remain effective, though we'll need more data to see if laboratory-made antibodies, also known as monoclonal antibodies, will remain an effective treatment for this variant. While a faster spreading variant isn't gonna help things, we shouldn't let the Omicron headlines make us forget that we're already in trouble. COVID wasn't dying down until Omicron came on the scene. We've still been putting out Delta fires, or in many cases, watching them burn. As of December 12th, the average number of daily COVID-19 deaths was almost 1,300, and pretty much all of them are caused by Delta. But to end on a less jury note, if there's any upside to a new variant of the virus, it's that it has increased vaccinations in the United States, which will have a positive impact on case numbers, hospitalizations, and death rates. In the meantime, studies on Omicron will continue to pour out, and we'll continue to keep an eye on them and what they mean in the bigger picture. Hey, you enjoyed this episode? You might enjoy this previous episode on COVID vaccination during pregnancy. We'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe down below and go on over to patreon.com slash healthcare triage, where you can help support the show even during a global pandemic. We'd like to especially thank our research associates, James Glasgow, Joe Sevitz, Edward Lillaholm, and Brian Nam, and of course, our Surgeon Admiral Sam.